January the 7th, 2018, sent a little information to this group that works on workplace harassment. Since 2011 in Toronto, many health districts, public health has been teaching people if a patient's in a coma, labored breathing, cyanotic, pinpoint pupils, chain stokes respiration, give them chest compressions and naloxone. More naloxone, more chest compressions. Any 10 year old child knows that those signs are a person suffering any of the hundreds of causes of respiratory emergency and the patient's dying lack of oxygen, their heart is beating, pushing on a beating heart is assault and murder. During this training, which I've taken several times since September 2011, there is no depth, so people are pushing straight down to the floorboards. This is January 9, 2007. Dr. Barbara Yaffe, Acting Medical Officer of Health, and Mayor John Tory quoted, Ventilations, rescue breathing is most important. Because if you don't have naloxone, you can keep the patient alive with respiratory assist until they breathe adequately on their own. And if it's any respiratory emergency, you better be giving them air because every second you withhold air from any respiratory emergency patient, all cells, tissues, and organs are dying. Hypoxia. So they've been publishing this nonsense in the newspaper. 700 doctors wrote a letter and delivered it to the legislature on August 28, 2017. All these doctors and nurses are making themselves sick. Because when you empower a layperson with what they think is a life-saving technique, they're only too eager to go out and do it. This is June 12, 2017. Toronto Public Health Head Office, Dr. Eric Hoskins, Minister of Health, Ontario, the Mayor of Toronto, Ontario, Joe Mahalik, Councillor, Chair of the Board of Health, and this is Councillor Joe Cressy, he's Chair of the Toronto Drug Strategy. This is the protocol that they're sitting beside right here. Give another copy of this later. But anyway, it's got shake at the shoulders. Well, you never shake anyone found down. You don't know what the cause is. It might be a spine injury. God, never shake a person when he's down. And see, this poster's up at all kinds of community health centers. This is a doctor's office. Dr. Michelle Clayman, she was consultant for the Ontario Pharmacists Association. She's the one that wrote the directive to give chest compressions only for the pharmacists. In first class in pharmacy school, what to do for a poisoning or drug overdose? It's give air, A-S-A-P. You're not allowed in a laboratory not knowing that for any poisoning. See, so shake its shoulders. Nice cyanotic blue background, eh? That's nice, cyanosis, color of skin dying, lack of oxygen. Just as can't wait to burst it up, breathing is slow, erratic, or has stopped, deep snoring or gurgling sounds. Um, blue lips or fingernails, pinpoint pupils. All proves a heart speed, could be any respiratory emergency. There's only 15,000 out of hospital cardiac arrest per year in this province. The only time you give chest compressions only is for a layperson who's never been trained.
So, it's costing you untold hundreds of millions of dollars. There's so many people left with permanent brain damage, lack of oxygen, all other cells, tissues, and organs damaged, hypoxia, lack of oxygen. So, oh, when somebody's blue, you better give them some air, ASAP, because their blood chemistry is becoming toxic. I'm publishing all the medical journals about it, and you know what? It's harassment. Because the nurses aren't saying anything. I talk to them. They start crying. I know. The doctors are teaching us how to murder people. God, town's crazy. Making themselves emotionally and physically sick. Because, Eddie, you go to Boy Scouts or Girl Guides, take a first aid course. They stress rescue breathing. Because children generally don't have cardiac problems. That happens to people 35 years and up. So these poor receptionist nurses, medical people, been sitting beside this eight hours a day for years. And in this office at 69 Queen Street, there's a pharmacist not 30 feet away. I talked to them. Very sick. Have a good one. And don't forget to breathe. A little thing on the, with the mayor is coming up right after this. Just say this about the 